Elaine Mitchell? Yes. I'm from the 39th Airborne. I have a message from Marvin. Marvin? You better come in. I'm afraid they have some bad news, Miss Mitchell. Marvin's fighter plane was shot down off the coast of Somalia. He was overtaken by insurgent forces. We have no idea how they even got the military hardware to come after us like that. The point is, his plane went down over the Arabian Sea three weeks ago. He's been dead three weeks? My poor dear Marvin! Well, uh, not exactly. You see, he managed to bail out just before he hit the water and got his parachute open in time. Of course, he was then swept up north by the current out to the open sea. So he drowned? In ocean? What a horrible way to die! My poor Marvin always hated swimming. Oh, uh, well, not really. The current carried him off to Pakistan, where he survived by fighting sharks to earn their respect. <laughs> See, they hunted for him and kept him alive, and then he was washed up in Karachi a week later. Unfortunately, his uniform was immediately recognizable, and he was captured by the Taliban and taken to their cave warrens in the foothills. You have to understand, Elaine. These are hard men in a hard country. There's no mercy out there, only survival. But not for poor Marvin! <laughs> well, actually, he feigned his own death by painstakingly training himself to stop his own heart. You see, he could only do it for a couple minutes at a time, so it had to be perfect. And well, long story short. He went over his limit. No! He was carried out of the cave to be cremated and fought off the guards barehanded. You see, the Taliban always place a heavy guard on their dead prisoners since they're so damned afraid of zombies. <laughs> well, he fought his way free and made his way up north to Baghdad on foot to team up with the American forces there. But not before taking a bullet to the shoulder. It's a long way from Karachi to Baghdad with a bullet in your shoulder. He never made it, did he? Oh, contraire! He limped into Baghdad with the last of his strength and collapsed into my arms at the gates of the camp. He could barely see or move. His mouth was caked with blood. His voice was so hoarse, but he gasped out a message. A message for me to give to you. What was it? What did he say? He said, tell Elaine. Tell her. <laughs> well, please, what was it? Oh, she said, he said, oh, wait a minute. Oh, some, oh, 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 for some reason it reminds me of, uh, Marshmallow Peeps. What? Uh, oh, oh, pfft, oh gosh, it's uh, <laughs> definitely something to do with, uh, birds, or, birds, or, Candy. Are you mocking me? I, 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 I done forgot. <laughs> <laughs>